All right, Sanderson, let's check out a little bit of a run here up on Ego, Slalom Training. Like I had mentioned to you, um, after the GS training, um, you were starting your turn on occasion uh, a little too early. And, you know, here is also uh, Slalom uh, a little bit too early. You can imagine, if you look at your skis right there, nice high edge angles, uh, you have... If you were carving from there, um, you know, you would be inside the pole. So you had to kind of lay off them and, and skid around. So I know it was tight. Um, that's maybe what, what you were doing, skidding more the top of the turn. But I, I still think, particularly this one, right over the breakover, uh, you could have gotten yourself a little bit outside rise line and arc back to the pole better. Um, anytime it's offset like this, we want to be bringing our, our turn shape, our shape back to the pole, making comma shape turns. But um, in any event, you did get your, uh, you know, still some shape done. You were nicely inside the pole there, um, something we've talked about before, you can see, all right, so you're right now hitting that pole, you see where the pole position is, you can imagine your hand position, and it drops, because you really push that pole down to the ground, and then that caused you to have to now um, raise the hand a bit here, right there, the pole plant, so the pole plant was late, so the transition was late. Uh, remember, you know, we don't need to push the pole down. Come in, block, and immediately a pole tap to the side. Nice level shoulders, though. Came in there, a little quicker pole plant. Get some direction done, that's good. Pole plant, retraction there, which is fine. Modern slalom, that's what we want. We don't want a lot of up and down motion in between the turns. We want to retract, allow the feet to come underneath us as we cross over them, and move forward and inside the turn. So we are tall at the top of the turn like that. That's all good stuff. You know, I think here, I don't really, I can't really see or why. You had a little bit of a stumble there. So it caused you to be on a low line. So I think you had to kind of run at the pole a bit, and you ended up being um, not your, you know, not your upper body, but you, the legs, the inside leg, ended up to be a little bit wide. So when you when you uh, cleared that pole, you didn't, with your hand, you didn't have any of your body, shin, or, or hip uh, following and, and continuing to push it down. So that thing snapped back right at you. Boom. It's, it's right back. Right there. So that, that pole, you don't see this too often. It hit to the ground and flew back up in between your arms. Almost clocked you in the head. And that set you right here. And a little bit of a, you know, out of balance position. But you got back in balance. You went to the snow plow. No, I just didn't. You, were, you wanted to get that outside ski a little more elevation. You had to get it around. But again, because a similar thing, you were wide with the lower body this pole you hit it and pull right back at you so don't see that very often interesting but uh, I can understand you thinking oh, I gotta push these poles down but this is unusual don't push the poles down block and plant
So be a little more patient sometimes. Bring your shape back to the pole. Pick them as offset. Block and plant.